Hey, it's Virulink here, and today I'm going to show you something truly amazing. Right here in this box is something that's going to change AR forever. Right here in this box is a tool that you can use to actually have AR with iOS. open this box and show you all and if you take a look at the box it says dream together in new realities and I love that so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of backstory uh, before I begin so I actually got to try this out before when I went to CES so they have actually sent me the device here so I can show you all because I thought it was really cool and I think everyone honestly needs to see this. Because anyone that has an iPhone can use this device. And you can use it with multiple people. So if someone else has this device, they can use it and you can connect and you guys can see the same thing. So this is an augmented reality headset that uses iOS. So let's open it. All right, so this is the device. It's super simple. And honestly, I don't know why anyone else has not thought of this before. This kind of reminds me or brings me back to the time when um, VR devices were starting to like be mixed together with phones. So a phone can act as a VR device in one. So this is the device right here. This is called the HoloKit X. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the iPhone. And just to let you guys know, this also works with an Apple Watch, like the newest Apple Watch is in pretty much any of the pro models of iPhones. It, does, it can work with like the regular iPhones, like the, and I think anywhere from the XR and up it works with, but you would have some limited capabilities if it's not like a pro model. Now the way that you're going to be able to put this in is that you just slide this in right here. You're just able to slide it in like this. And then bam, it's in there. You just put this on to tighten it. Be a very, very tight, very tight fit. Then it's secure and it's in. And then this is what it's going to look like. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know if the strap was going to be like this. That's cool. That's cool. I actually never really paid attention to this strap before, and I've never seen a VR headset strap or a AR headset strap like this before. I have a big head, so, you know, I got to kind of loosen it a little bit. All right. And it's going to look like this. And I can completely see out of this. Even though the um, iPhone is not on yet, I can still see completely fine out of this already. Because it actually has, if you look underneath right here, that's where I'm actually seeing out of it. They have glasses in there that reflects and bounces off. So you're actually somehow getting um, the viewpoint from under here. And even though it's kind of under here, you can still st see straight ahead. Now I'm gonna connect this to the app. Once it is installed, it is going to look like this. So of course you're going to allow all the access, uh, camera, microphone, and your photo library. So you just allow all of that. Then you sign in. You can sign in with your Apple account. And bam, there you are. So it has uh, different type of games you can play on here. So I believe I've tried quite a few of them 
uh, on her. I haven't tried all of them and I can't wait. I'm going to try out the, the ones that I haven't tried out yet. And again, some of them, you do need other devices like the Apple Watch, uh, for example. But yeah, it just has like basically an endless supply, almost endless supply of things you can, you can do on here. And they have some other things that are coming soon as well. So I guess they have some other uh, apps or uh, experiences that are coming soon. You're going to be able to make some avatars soon, uh, some objects coming soon. And it, of course, tells you how to, how to buy it as well. And a getting started. So once you just get into this app, you can go into getting started and it's going to show you how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to do is of course, remove your case. And then once you remove your case, you're gonna put the phone in like I was showing you all before. And once it's in, you secure it, and you're good to go. So it's uh, pretty simple. And I love that they also uh, have a video here that you can watch that also helps you to uh, so set everything up. And it's just very easy to understand. Oh, also, I forgot to show you all that you can actually join this as a spectator. So when someone else is inside of uh, uh, the AR space, you can just watch it on your phone as a spectator. You can just click this and you can just watch it as a spectator. And of course you can enter the reality. So they do give you two different options. Now, once you have followed all of the directions on the app, it's time to head into AR or mixed reality. And you're good, it's all set up. Now all you have to do is put this on. You are in an AR space. So this is this is crazy. This is active AR right here with this device and your iPhone. And you're just automatically in AR. You can basically with this bring AR anywhere inside of any space that you want. You can be in an airport using this, you can be just in your house using this. So the possibilities are basically endless with this device. And I can't wait until they just add more um, to the experiences. Maybe even just watching TV or just other things with this, any daily tasks, because I believe this can truly build into something greater. Right now, they just have a minimum amount of applications or uh, things to do on this app. But I definitely see in the future, they can add so much to it. So I think this is going to, going to definitely be a game changer. So right now I'm gonna go on and uh, do some recording with this and then show you all the type of experiences that they have right now. Now, some of the experiences I'm going to be showing you are from CES because I don't have the right Apple Watch in order to use some of these experiences on the app. So I'm gonna mix a few in from CES and a few from right now. So as you can see, there are a few examples of experiences that you can have with this device. They're not too much um, and they are interactive, but not as interactive as VR um, experiences. So if you're coming from like the Quest 2, this might not be something super interactive to you. This, to me at least, it reminds me of almost like when VR, like I said before, when VR first started out, it wasn't too interactive, but there were a few things that you could still do. The thing where I I think this could come in, in hand or it could be very useful is with the SDK. So on HoloKit, uh, on the actual website, you can actually buy the SDK and just develop for it. And you can make pretty much anything that the SDK allows you to make. So I think that's where it's going to come into play. Not necessarily on the app itself, because there's not really that much on the app, They're, they are going to expand, but as of right now, I can't really say 
that the app has too much to offer. So that's why I think the focus right now should be in those SDKs and people developing for this SDK. Because I could see anyone using this anywhere, like I was saying before, whether it's watching maybe Netflix or working on some type of document uh, with a wireless keyboard, things like that, that could be useful in the everyday life. So that's where I see this going. Right now, this is a really light device. This is, I think, the lightest AR device I have ever used. Um, definitely the lightest uh, VR, lighter than any VR device that I've used before. So I really do like that. It's very comfy. This little nose guard right here uh, is very, very uh, comfy and you can kind of maneuver it just a little bit. Uh, right here as well, it's very comfy. So it's nice and soft and swishy and plush. And overall, like I said before, it is uh, just overall very light. So that's what I, I really do like about it. I also like the easy connectivity within the app. Um, as you saw before, it's pretty easy to connect in the app if you want to connect with anyone else who has this. You just have to scan the code. But what I do not like about it is that you have to take, take it out of this little headpiece every time you want to switch to a different application or something like that. So I honestly don't really like that. And when I was at CES and they had the watch, they still had to do that. So even if you do have uh, an Apple watch, you would still have to do that. And I don't like that at all. And of course, I have an Apple watch myself, but it's like the first generation of Apple watch. It's, it's ancient at this point. So I couldn't use it with this. So I was so limited um, with the applications that I could use with that. Now, that is my fault. Um, and I honestly don't know any other way that they could uh, tracking with this other than just buying you yourself buying other trackers so i do think the apple watch is a good aspect to add to this but it does kind of suck that you kind of need it for stuff and you can't go into different settings without taking the phone out of that that's kind of annoying every time you want to connect with someone you kind of have to uh, take the, the phone out of it i really wish that you can honestly if you had the watch already you could just like go in a setting like almost like kind of like a hand tracking or something like that, or even just on the watch. You just use the watch to go on a setting to switch to something else. So I really do wish that they added that. Um, but overall, I think this is a great device and it has some great potential in the future. As of right now, it's kind of in its infancy, I would say. So we, what we really need is people like you enthusiasts in the AR or VR field to just come together and help build this into something uh, great because for, like I said before, this is the only iOS AR device that I know of. So it is a big deal. It is using Apple's chip. You know how powerful Apple's chip can be. Uh, so you should not squander it. But yeah, this is my um, honest review on the HoloKit X. I hope you guys found this entertaining or interesting and you learned something from it. Uh, if you want to look into, into HoloKit more, I'm going to leave their information in the description below so you guys can check that out as always guys have a wonderful day or night peace out if you like this video please like and subscribe it would really help the channel out and if you have any questions you can put it down in the comment section below or contact me on my instagram tiktok or twitter